guys, sorry I haven't been super active on here. I have been very motivated to finish stuff on the channel. I've also been occupied with like midterms and stuff. Also, spoilers ahead for the recently released for the future, so if you haven't watched that, go watch it and come back after that. Trust me, you want the completely unspoiled experience. The episode's amazing. That said, let's get into uh, the theory. So, recently there's been a lot of discourse in the fandom over whether or not the Collector will be redeemed. I looked into this a bit, thinking people uh, would really want the Collector to have a redemption arc, because I really do. Um, but it seems to be a lot more controversial. The fandom seems to be kind of split over whether the Collector should get redeemed. I've heard a few people mention a theory uh, about the Collector becoming mortal to be redeemed, and I think it's so awesome, and not enough people... Well, there are a few people talk. There are quite a few people... Well, there are some people talking about it, but... I still think not enough people. I, the whole fandom should be talking about it, as it's amazing. But before we get into that, let's talk about some of the things a lot of the people who don't want the Collector to be redeemed are saying about him. Uh, it's mostly things that are just, like, speculative, as it's just people's, like, interpretations on the Collector's lore. So let's run through them quickly and see if I can disprove them. Now, one of the arguments I've seen against a uh, redemption arc for the Collector is that him capturing the Owl Beast was irredeemable. But this didn't even actually happen, as uh, that seems to have been a different collector. The collector from the Owl Beast memory had a much more sinister vibe than the playful childish collector we know, as well as being much taller. And of course, the obvious thing being that he didn't turn the Owl Beast into a puppet, but rather he turned it into a scroll. So that probably means that different collectors have different ways of collecting things, so most likely it was a different collector. So not the same collector. He may have started the Titan Titan Trapper cult thing, but that seems weird since he was happily playing with the baby titans in one of the pictures in the archive house hallway. The Collector tablet that they also have is cracked, and our tablet that the Collector we know has isn't cracked. So maybe it's a different Collector who died or something and King just got linked to him because the only Collector left? Honestly, I'm not sure. The Collector lore is a bit foggy there. Feel free to tell me if you have a better theory on why that tablet is cracked. At the end of the day, though, the two species were at war, so both sides were doing violent stuff, and it isn't confirmed that our Collector was the one who made the cult, but even if he did, it was it was a war. They were both fighting. All the sides were doing not great things. But honestly, even if he did, I don't think it's completely irredeemable if the show is able to handle it correctly. Now for the most interesting one, the collector. Uh, some people are saying that the collector probably killed King's father. That I don't. This one's pretty interesting, but I actually think that this episode um, might confirm that King's father is not the Boiling Isles and is not dead and instead trapped in the in between. Uh, I say this because when Luce saw the mystery figure in the Between Realm, if you zoom in and enhance it, it actually looks like a titan, which we don't know if it's King's father, but it's pretty likely, and which would also be so cute because King would finally get to re reunite with his father, and that would be so adorable. <laughs> anyway, um, and also be a like, really nice uh, character arc cap-off kind of thing for King. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on, maybe we could finally get both sides of the story from the Collector and King's father on what happens if the characters can talk to this guy, not to mention the Collector would then not have this crime to be redeemed for since he didn't even do it. <laughs> now, of course, none of this excuses what the Collector has been 100% confirmed to do, that being causing chaos in the Isles, turning people to puppets, and teaching Bellows the Draining Spell. Well, the Draining Spell at least has a few circumstantial things surrounding it, since he was manipulated and thought it meant he could get out of his solitary confinement that he'd been trapped in for thousands upon thousands of years. And I mean, he did stop it in the end, but it's still a big yikes for his morality, as he agreed to help Bellows wipe out the entire Isles. Still, given the circumstances, I don't think it puts him past the point of redemption, as long as the redemption has some kind of punishment attached to it, and he's not just getting off scot-free for this. The Collector hasn't canonically murdered anyone, as far as I know, other than Bellows, kind of? who uh, definitely deserved it, so. Anyway, he clearly needs to have some kind of punishment for the whole turning all the people into puppets thing and knowingly helping, or trying to help Bellos wipe out the aisles, but I'd still love to see him redeemed. The whole there's a child argument kind of falls apart after ripping the aisles to shreds, even if I do feel a bit bad that they were trapped alone for so long. So how do you re redeem a character whose whole reason that they are evil is that they have no concept of empathy for others and they're just so ignorant? Uh, here's the answer. The Collector will become immortal. I saw a couple people theorizing about this, but I still don't think not enough people, enough people are talking about it, even though, I, I mean, I've seen, I've seen a few people, but not, not as much as there should be. 
Uh, so let me explain. The way that this would happen would be by someone probably Looser King tricking the collector into using his powers to make himself immortal, uh, to make himself mortal in order to experience his games from the other side. Obviously, he wouldn't be able to use any powers to make himself immortal again, and it would, e and he would be stuck as a mortal forever. Given how easy the collector is to manipulate, eh, this is not really a stretch at all. Walking the shoes of a mortal would be such a simple yet incredibly effective and also super fun to watch way for the collector to finally learn some basic empathy. And also, how could you not want the collector to be redeemed? Like, they're just... They're just so adorable and small, even, they like, I don't know, I, I simultaneously um, hate them and love them at the same time, and I need them to be redeemed right now. Anyway, the whole reason that they cause chaos is because they're so ignorant of the harm they cause to others. Their infinite power has caused him to completely not see how much they hurt other people. So what better way to make them understand the harm that he's been causing than to make him immortal and live on the other sides of his games. They obviously will never become some kind of pure of heart wholesome being, I mean, this is the collector, but they could definitely start to lean toward the good side. Not to mention, in this scenario, all sides of the fandom debating over whether or not they should be redeemed win, the collector still gets punished by becoming immortal, and he gets redeemed. It's perfect. So that's all. Just wanted to shine a light on this amazing theory and uh, gush about how awesome of a character the Collector is. Um, tell me what you think of this in the comments below. Do you think the Collector deserves a redemption? Do you think I'm right or wrong about him not being the Collector who made the Titan Trappers? Do you have any other th theories for the finale? Uh, I'll gladly discuss you with this with you guys in the comments. Just keep it civil, okay? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna let the speed paint play out for the rest of this. Bye.